everybody. So my name is Gina Galetti and I'm the Arts and Crafts Specialist at Summer Scene 1. And today I'm going to teach you how to make puffy sidewalk chalk paint. So you may be familiar with a regular piece of sidewalk chalk, but you might also be familiar with something called puffy paint, which is usually something that people use when they're writing on t-shirts. Now we are going to take sidewalk chalk and we're going to turn it into puffy paint, but for the sidewalk. Super cool. So it's really simple and easy and I'm gonna show you how to do that. But first I'm gonna show you the ingredients that you need. The first thing you're gonna need of course is chalk. So for each color of chalk that you're planning on making, you're going to need the piece of chalk or the remnants of and a bowl to put it in. Now you might be thinking, well, how am I gonna get this stick of chalk into paint? So you're gonna need a cheese grater so you can grate the, ch the chalk and put it in the bowls. Along with it, you're going to need one cup of water for each color you're making and one cup of flour for each color you're making. You're also going to need one tablespoon of regular dish soap for each of your mixtures. Then you're going to mix everything together using a whisk. And I'll show you what it's going to look like. So those are your ingredients. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna decide which color I'm making first. So I'm gonna start by making green. So the first thing I'm going to need is I'm gonna need a cup of water and a cup of flour. So I already measured out my one cup of flour. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna pour it into my bowl, just like that. Then I measured out two cups of water. So I'm gonna be super careful just to pour one cup in. And I'm gonna leave a cup for my other color. Now I recommend you do this on a table. I'm just trying to hold it so you can see what I'm doing. All right, and then once that's about a cup, you're gonna take your whisk and you're gonna mix it all together. So I like kind of imagine it like pancake batter. Okay, so you wanna get it nice and smooth. You don't want any lumps in it. It should look something like this. Okay, see how when I lift it up, it's nice and creamy and it's not lumpy. That's what we're going for. Now I'm gonna take my spoon. So you can use a measuring cup or a measuring spoon, but I didn't have one. So I'm just gonna use a regular tablespoon that you might have in your kitchen. And I'm gonna take some dish soap. As you can see, my dish soap is almost empty, but that's okay, because we're not using that much. You can use any kind you want. And I'm gonna take a tablespoon and I'm gonna pour it on into my mix. I wanna get as much of it as I can. It's kind of like honey. Okay. And then you're gonna mix it up again. Mix it up real good. Okay, and then you'll see it's kind of bubbly. You see it's kind of bubbly? Okay, now here's where the color comes in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find on my cheese grater, so there's different sides. So there's this side, there's this side, this side, and this side. I wanna use the one that's gonna make the finest uh, gratings, which is gonna be this side. So I'm gonna take my chalk and my grater. I'm gonna go over my bowl. I'm gonna move my whisk so it's not in my way. And I'm just gonna grate. Okay, so to get it about this shade of green, I used about two thirds of a piece of chalk. If I wanted it even darker, I could use the whole stick of chalk, but I was going for a light green anyway, so this looks perfect. Now the next step is I have to take the mixture that I created in my bowl, and if you have a squeeze bottle, you can put it in there. So I have a squeeze bottle that looks like this, so these are actually icing bottles or you can just use any kind of squeeze bottle you might have already at home. Just make sure to clean it out really good. And you're gonna pour your mixture into your squeeze bottle. Instead of pouring it, I just decided to use a spoon. Okay. As you can see, my squeeze bottle is full and I still have a lot left over. So you have a couple choices. So you can use up all of this and then when you're done, fill it back up again. Or maybe you want more than one squeeze bottle or maybe instead of doing one cup of flour, you only do half a cup of flour. And that will help make sure that you're making as much as you're planning to use. So now we have our green and now it's time for me to make my purple. Now I'm ready to test it out on the sidewalk. 
So make sure that you're not using this on any sidewalk that is brand new because it may be really challenging to come off. So make sure you're using sidewalk that it's okay if it gets a little bit discolored for a little while. And if mom and dad don't want it discolored, then make sure that you're not using that particular sidewalk. When I'm finished with this, I'm probably gonna rinse it off with water just to make sure that it doesn't leave a stain on my sidewalk, but it will come off pretty easily. All right, so now the fun stuff, let's test it. <laughs> accidentally bought a bottle with an icing squeeze tip it didn't work as well as I was hoping so I decided to use this paintbrush instead and I was going to paint my chalk paint on the sidewalk since it is chalk paint it does work but I recommend dabbing it instead of painting it on with strokes because that'll help give the puffy effect that we're going for all up. Arts and crafts is all about experimenting, so if you don't get it right the first time, that's okay. Try again. For me, I learned that maybe I needed a different squeeze bottle, but I was able to problem solve and I found paintbrushes that I could use. I used the spoon to make decorations. I even just took the top off of my squeeze bottle and I used it that way. Remember, art is all creativity, so whatever you do is awesome. Even if you just want to draw with regular chalk but chalk paint is super cool too. So thank you for checking out this video tutorial and I hope that your chalk puffy paint is super cool, super puffy, and we'd love to see all of the awesome designs that you make. So make sure that you hashtag EVRecDayCamp and make sure that you send it our way. So have an awesome day and have a great summer.